we come back, game two. The Magic and the Rockets coming up. Shaq wants to take away the middle from Akeem, make him take the jumper on the baseline. Before he's ever even made a shot in the game. And his ups and downs, no question about it, from the free throw line throughout the... Wexler posting up. Elijah Wan for the crossover and from out deep. Whoa, <laughs> that's unbelievable. <laughs> that man is seven feet tall and he looks dwarfed next to Shaq. That's a face-up jumper from 19 feet. And was very fortunate to keep it alive. Elijah Wan. Yes. Wan in the low post working so effectively. The little hitch right and come back the other way. Freezes the defense momentarily, but notice the extra arc used on that shot. Doesn't even have to set a great pick. He's just took the spot up to the open area. Elijah Wan with his first. O'Neal off the double team. On in strong fashion. They double up on Shaquille. Hardaway with the head fake. Whoa. Whoa. Shot clock at six. Elijah Wan. And they did not. Is that from it? Anderson for three. The crowd here rooting so hard for Nick Anderson to get into it. Shaquille. By one. Kenny Smith just not a good enough post-up defensive player. It counts, and the foul. And then at the other end, Akeem Olajuwon. It's now it's over moved by Robert Ori and a terrific finish. Here's Scott for three. Oh, Dennis Scott missed his first two attempts from downtown. Able to hit there to bring the Magic with it one. Akeem spinning his way, and that will count. It's a goal test. Well, the, the Magic not going to the double team yet. What they're trying to do is have Horace Grant pick up Akeem Olajuwon. That's why the switch with Grant on Olajuwon and let Shaq play Chucky Brown. All right, Scott for three. So the game is tied at 18. All those open shots we saw throughout game one caused by the forced double teams. Now... Orlando not double teaming. Elijah Wan. Yes. And Akeem on fire. Now five of eight. He has 12 points. Rockets 20. And the Magic. 18 of the shooting at both ends. As for the call. Referee Dan Crawford could not believe that the guy had such great offensive position. And there he goes. Elijah. Talked about Horace Grant needing to press a large one, but there's no pressure on the ball. Dennis Scott backing way off, just giving the easy look and no defensive rotation. That's what fronting is all about. Terrific eye contact between Ori, a former center himself. Gordon has the ability to get into the lane and create plays for himself or other people. Elijah Wan. And Akeem has taken over 16 points for Elijah Wan. Akeem still not going to the turn and face. Shaq flat-footed, not pushed five. Houston, we are early in the second. Open shot for Cassell. Hit a 3-7 run by the Rockets. Hardaway, the 1981 Rockets, the only team to win eight on the road in the playoffs. The rejection, but Elijah Wan is there. Well, there's been only six offensive rebounds. Shaq doesn't necessarily have to score on the post up. He's got to get to the offensive glass. Elijah Wan <laughs> with 20 points. Elijah Wan is 9 of 14 from the field. He has only his efforts in those games as he goes right to the baseline here. No waiting, no hesitation. And for that shot, there is no defense. Defense is keeping Kenny Smith on the pitch. A 20 point lead, biggest of the night. The kill well, they always know Kenny Smith is going to start. They never really are. But that's what being a team is all about. That's and then Orlando had a, a comeback from a deficit. O'Neal for Hardaway. Eluding Ori. Hardaway. And the Magic looking for a goal to end. A foul was called. No indication on the goal. goal there. Apparently just a shooting goal. A terrific block by a team coming from the far reach side. That might have dipped down. That might have dipped down. 
<laughs> That's about as close. Is that your coach? Uh, once coach? in a while, I <laughs> to say that a lot with Michael Jordan. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal with a strong move. And you have to take it wherever you can get it. They might as well keep going to Hardaway. Then that's when Shaq should get active on the offensive board. Take it to the other side. Another indicator. Or and he pulled back. Sometimes you get too conservative out there with a big lead. Cassell for three. Sam Cassell. With only ten points in the half. Shaquille with two fouls. And Akeem with only one. O'Neal getting position. Hey, minute 40 got by in the third. Morris Grant trying to get into it offensively. And O'Neal and Elijah Watt involved. And a loose ball foul is called. It's on Elijah Watt. That's his second. That's a poke by Nick Anderson. But Clyde took his time, didn't force anything, and took it to the hole, which is what the Magic are doing now. All the way up. Crossover is rejected. He tried to draw the foul and hit the deck. Hugh Holland said, get up. <laughs> Anderson for the deal. 60 feeling the Magic are playing with a sense of urgency, and it is urgent. They lose here. They're down 2-0 with the next three games coming up in Houston. Elijah Wan after the pop. So Akeem, 18 points. Here's the double on O'Neal. Six minutes remaining in this third quarter. Hardaway. By 23 points with just under four minutes to go in the third. Neil O'Neal. Center is 10th in. 10 of 22 from the field, 24 five, but. To this point, it has not mattered. Elijah Wan showing us the footwork. Well, he didn't realize how wide open he was on that little plant of the foot. Dropped that shoulder in there when he turned. He couldn't believe he was that wide open. He hesitated and still got it. O'Neal. So Shaquille has 20 points. The Rockets lead 82-61. But this crowd is stunned right now. They, they just can't believe what is happening. Elijah Watt to the fadeaway. <laughs> 28 for a key. That's a heat check. Yeah, just <laughs> throw it up. <laughs> and the outside official, Hugh Hollins, well, calling right the uh, foul on Cassell. Well, the last two Cassell. moves for a key. Get him going one way, He's come back the other, and get in the now. air. He throws in a little extra fake, I think, to, re to regain his balance. And then the next time down, this is just wildness, throwing it up. And that is years and years of practicing that shot. They double up on O'Neal. Pops it out to Hardaway for three. Yes. And Shaq found the open one. Team still with two fouls. Two minutes. With three. Hardaway for three. Yes. O'Neal. But has not been a dominating factor. And Akeem is getting set to re enter. Off a very large man, Charles Jones, in his own right. Not that Houston be so deliberate, yet they were still able to get the ball to their main man, Akeem. Here's Shaw for three. Yes. Brian Shaw feeds Shaquille O'Neal. There's the repost. And on good sign. Yes. <laughs> It seems every time Orlando has been able to make a run, it's Cassell who has spoiled matters. But O'Neal is right back. Shaquille is 26, 95-81, Rocket. I got to think Brian Hill's thinking about getting Horace Grant back into the ballgame to let him be the double teamer so the Magic can stay get hope out on the three-point shooter much quicker. Elijah Wan. They can't get out there quick enough, but if you come with a big man, a Jeff Turner or a Horace Grant, then you have your smaller, quicker people able to get out to the shooters. The switch is made, Akeem is back on shot. No difference, though. Shot clock at four. Now to one. Good. 
This time not able to do it. Olajuwon kept the 392. Houston. O'Neal getting down deep. Shot clock at five. Drexler with the spin. Olajuwon with games to nothing on the Magic. Anderson went to the left hand, gave up. A moment ago, Nick Anderson able to get by Drexler, and when Akeem comes over, nobody slides in front of Shaq. Maybe a slight piece of that ball, but the forced miss. O'Neal. Championship. They've got a foul now, I think. A huge turn. Don't throw it cross court. And you still look for Penn. The Indiana Pacers. That's a three for Hardaway. 117, 106. And Sam Cassell could dribble it right to the locker room. The Rockets with the convincing victory led by as many as 23, sparked by the likes of Akeem Olajuwon, Clyde Drexler, and Sam Cassell, who in his 20.